Hi, and welcome to this Data Center Knowledge Fast Chat um, powered by Omdia. Uh, my name is Vlad Galabov, and I'm the head of the Cloud and Data Center Research Practice here at Omdia. And today I'm joined by Michael O'Keefe, who is the VP of EMEA Services at Vertiv. And today we're going to talk about um, data center services and, uh, you know, what do they mean and how can they help um, operators. So, Michael, if we kick off uh, the um, conversation with a question that seems to be near and dear to, to many people's hearts, um, every year we run a survey with over 6,000 enterprise IT decision makers. And this year um, they um, said that their top concern is operational efficiency. So do data center services address this concern and how? Yeah, hi, Vlad. Um, thanks for the opportunity. Good to talk. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, traditionally, our services have been based around risk and risk management. So reliability of sites, resilience of sites, these types of activities. Um, but now pretty much every conversation has an element of sustainability. Um, and that really is, is starting to and has been evolving our service business over the past years. So we're looking at sites and design for sites, minimum power usage, maximum efficiency, both at equipment level or site design level. And then we're looking at services to continuously review that throughout the life cycle of the site. So we can have enhanced monitoring, we can digitally model the site, we can look at temperature, we can look at airflows, and, and we take the commissioning data as the baseline and we'll use those design parameters and check against them as we go through the life cycle of the site. So as loads increase, decrease, we're continuously using, we're continuously reviewing how we um, look at the energy usage of the site um, and we develop our services accordingly. So I would say traditionally we were a project company with a sort of break fix service as many traditional manufacturers and we're moving to a much wider uh, operational support services now. And how is it that um, data center services address the very key and hot topic of sustainability particularly? I think it's about life cycle planning in the data center. I mean, you, you can't just assume that the design parameters dictate will, uh, how the data center will operate throughout its life. You know, customers need to be asking, you know, how long will this data center operate? What do I need to do to increase the life expectancy of the data center? What actions do I need to take in terms of equipment upgrades, equipment refurbs? And I, and I need to ask questions about how I'm controlling energy usage. You know, it's more and more about focusing on equipment condition, particularly towards ends of life, using data analytics, having discussions with subject matter experts. And within that planning cycle, you know, don't replace it too quickly, but equally to make sure that the older sites are operating as efficiently as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. That, that is very interesting. Very often when it comes to sustainability, people talk about buying green energy, but it's, it's more than that. So I think um, you just very well exemplified the fact that people need to think about more than just buying green energy. They can actually do a lot of other things uh, to, to improve like, like this um, utilization of data center so longer. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Vlad. It, it's about how you use the energy, not just the type of energy that you're purchasing. Exactly. Um, so uh, it, it, we can't have a conversation without touching on one of the hottest topics um, today, and that is edge computing. Um, we found out that one in three workloads today runs at the edge, and this is expected to increase um, over the next five years. Um, this means that enterprises and service providers are placing more high value equipment at um, hard to reach, sometimes harsh conditions. Um, so with, with the value of, of edge infrastructure expected to pass $72 billion in 2024, um, there is a clear need for uh, remote monitoring, for example. Um, is this something that Vertip is addressing and, and how do data center services help with this particular um, problem and, and topic? Yeah, and we for sure are seeing that growth in the edge infrastructure and, as you say, the importance of it within the network. 
Um, and there are challenges around that. You know, in a, in a large data center, you know, there's a population of subject matter experts who can resolve issues as and when they come up, technical and operational. But in a far more distributed edge type environment, you know, the clients probably don't have the skills at the edge to be able to, you know, handle alarms and, you know, resolve operational issues. So it, connectivity is important. Uh, and I, I think it goes up a level from monitoring. You know, people really need now sort of a hot button so they can get an SME on the phone. They need to be able to do firmware upgrades remotely. They need alarm management. And, you know, on a large distributed network, they're going to need some sort of expert analytics. So, you know, they're not doing thousands of truck rolls, but they really are targeted in how they support that infrastructure. So for sure, we, we, we see that increase um, and we're looking more and more um, into the edge applications and services we offer to bring them into a more um, traditional maintenance type regime. So previously it was a, a, a repair only and, and they would swap out kit as and when it failed. Now we need to be far more proactive. They need standard SLAs. They need a maintenance regime. We need to be using the analytics we can get from site to make sure that the, the resilience, reliability of the edge infrastructure is at the same level as the, the large data center uh, hyperscale type populations. So we've mentioned a few different services, but could you briefly summarize Vertiv's data center services and, and how our viewers can engage with you uh, on them? Yeah, sure. Um, as Vertiv, we like to support our customers throughout the life cycle of the product. Um, and we have a, a wide variety of services and they're mostly focused on you know, targeted market sectors. But initially, you know, advanced project services are very important for us. Um, and it might be something as simple as a startup of an equipment through to a, a large site, L1, L5 testing with attendance at IST, customer handover, and really establishing that benchmark for the site moving forward to which we can maintain against. Uh, and we see those you know, advanced testing project services as, as, as critical because we know from our stats that you know, if you get the site right initially and the site works well and has been commissioned well, you have far less problems throughout the life cycle of that site. So project services is very important for us. Then we have our maintenance activities and that is yes, from the basic break fix, but increasingly using analytics increasingly using connectivity, helping customers to switch their sites less, be more targeted in their approach to maintenance. And that's a huge part of our organization and supporting customers with qualified engineers on site. And then as we've talked about, you know, using more machine learning, more AI to help customers operate their sites as efficiently as possible. So really we, we, we stay with the customer from the first equipment sale all the way through the project, really right up to the end when customers are looking at end of life of sites uh, and we can support them through those phases as well. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for, for, for sharing this and, and you know answering our questions today. Um, and to our viewers, have a nice day.